So today's a new day and a new keynote and I'm delivering a keynote to a very large multinational hotel chain and focusing on influence, persuasion and also change. Now change is always built up to this be this big thing and whilst it is, it also isn't as well. Change is a continual thing in our lives. We just have to look at if we read a new cookbook, we change the way we cook. If, let's say, we read a new philosophy book, we change the way we think, or if we visit somewhere beautiful like Hungary, where I am now, it changes the way we perceive that country and the people within it. Even our phones. Your phones are constantly updating. We get used to working one way, and all of a sudden we have to change to inter interact with it a different way. Changes are continuous. It's almost a certain uncertain in the world. There's two ways that change affects us. Change affects us either we choose that change, i.e. we change to choose a different set of clothes for the day, or we choose to change to have a different car, or we change the house, or change jobs. And this is good, this is fun, this is fresh, this is exciting, because we choose the change. But when change gets impacted on us, then that's when we get nervous, get worried, get anxious. Why? Because we're creatures of the status quo, creatures of habituation. We love the status quo. We drive the same way to work. We probably choose the same thing off of a menu. We love doing the same things. It makes us feel safe and it's almost linked to our evolutionary links or hardware to our survival. So what can we do? Rather than looking at change as being this big thing, bad thing, positive or negative, see it as neutral. See it as something that will or won't happen. It's going to be there and it's going to happen at some point in time. The best we can do is leverage the opportunities out of it. And how can we do that? Well, we can use our influence skills, our persuasion skills, and above all else, we can use our collaboration skills. We can learn or use what we've learned in previous organizations, previous teams, and then transfer them over into our new teams, new organizations, or new situation. If we can do that, then we succeed together. So that's just a little taste of what I'm going to be sharing today in my keynote. Like I said, it's for a group of HR people here in Hungary, Budapest. So hopefully we're going to have a lot of fun and I'll see you again sometime. Bye for now.